months ago I was ordained with the powers cosmic the invincible invader no one can stop it what's goody warriors how you feeling I hope you're feeling good because I'm feeling great let's get into this thing I want to say thank you to everybody that subscribed or continue to watch my videos and continue to support and post your comments. The more you type and support me and tell me, give me feedback, the more I learn, the better I get, the better I'll be at representing you and just doing this thing, communicating with each other and just putting information out there. Let's waste no time, warriors. Let's get into it. I'm talking about Transformers Age of Extinction. This is not going to be a review. Because there's nothing to review. The story was rubbish. The script was trash. The acting was abominable. Except there was 3% in the film that was actually... I think you guys know what that was. The scenes where there was good acting was when they improvised. Steve Tushy was in it. He played a character called Joshua Joyce. Casey Graber was in it. He was Harold Attinger. Mark Wahlberg was Kate Yeager. Nicole Peltz was Tessa Yeager. She had a boyfriend, I think his name was Jack something irrelevant. And you had Steve Loblinsky, or Joblinsky. I can't pronounce his name. He did the music score. The music score was pretty good in this film. It was very good, actually. But what do you expect? This film, you could clearly see there was no expense spare. Everything was... They, they basically gave whoever it was, Steven Spielberg, Hasbro, I don't know, Michael Bay, a blank check to make this film. And it showed in the music, in the CG, in the visuals, in everything. Was the film boring? No, it wasn't. But was it a good film? Absolutely not. I wouldn't say it was awful, but it definitely wasn't good. It was more of a waste to me. A wasted film because nothing happened nothing happened it was like an excuse it was an excuse to waste 200 or 300 million or however I'm like, oh, I bet this film cost more to make than Captain America yet Captain America is 70 times a better film than this film was Transformers Age of Extinction I didn't understand it I really didn't understand it there was 3% acting in the whole film that was actually good and that was improvised scenes where they could say, they blatantly said, this scene, we don't know what to do with this scene. We don't know how to get from A to B. We need to fill this moment, four minutes. How do we do that? Mark, can you do it? Mark delivered a piece of acting in a shitty scene, which was godlike acting. Same thing with Casey Graymar. They had him, probably said, we don't know how to get to A to B in this scene. Can you do improvised acting for us? He improvised. The scene was amazing. The best scene in that whole film was when Casey Graham and Mark Wahlberg were acting while Lockdown and Optimus Prime were fighting. Lockdown was the main Decepticon or Transformer or whatever he was. I don't even know who he was. Like The story is irrelevant. The film felt like it was a montage, a collection of trailers, music videos, set pieces random stupid moments beautiful visuals of beautiful people and amazing locales and they're all put together sewn together with a loose very thin linear bland string called story that was it the film made no sense there was no definitive meaning of what this Transformers film represented. It seemed like it was an excuse. They put the Dinobots in there. They basically came out of nowhere. Out of the ship. The big ship that Lockdown came down on. And he'd been capturing all these types of legendary beasts. From all over the galaxy and whatever. But the Dinobots happened to be in there. And he just managed to unlock them. And then he had to chuck Dinobots in the end. I mean that scene was pretty cool. We saw Optimus Prime travelling on the... The dino bots slashing everything to pieces. Set piece, set piece, music, music video. I didn't understand it. The stereotypes of the races in that film were just abominable. All the stereotypes made absolutely no sense. The film itself made no sense, and the jokes weren't even funny. The script was trash. 
it was an absolutely garbage script with filled with horrible acting it just seemed like waste it's the most unmovie movie I've ever seen in my life and I couldn't understand why I was watching it the strange thing was I was never actually bored during the film that does sound strange doesn't it but I wasn't bored three hours that film was I couldn't believe it because I tweeted out when I was going to watch the film when it all finished I was going to I was checking Twitter and I happened to look at how long I last tweeted was. It said three hours. Which means the film was three hours. I couldn't believe it. So I was like, this was three hours of absolute waste. Couldn't believe it. Couldn't believe it. Well done. This is a masterclass. Ma Michael Bay could do a masterclass and have to spend 200 million on absolutely nothing. But it's something. I don't even understand it. This guy is a genius. He's a genius, but not in a good way. Because the film, it was very, very long. Too long. No story. The story was rubbish. It was absolutely a rubbish story. I mean, the, the best character in the whole film was Joshua Joyce. Steve Tushy, the bad guy. Because he was originally the bad guy, but he found the thin line. He managed to realise there was a thin line between fucked up and extremely fucked up. And he chose fuck you to the extremely fucked up. He was the best character in the whole film. Just another Transformers film that focused more on humans than it did on the Transformers. And the Transformers design still makes no sense. The very philosophy of Transformers or mechs is the simplicity of their design. Yet the Transformers have got the most complex, twisty, moving parts in it for no reason the movement the design is so unnecessary i don't know and tess yeager his daughter she meant nothing she meant nothing all she was basically was for older men to perv over her which was actually quite disturbing where if you look at it because there were so many moments where you had her boyfriend was like 20 years old and she was like a teenager or something like that and then I don't know I mean the only thing I can say and nothing I can respect for is the name Jaeger you know which is blatantly respected Chuck Jaeger or whatever you know Jaeger, Jaeger the guy that was in Pacific Rim the pilot he was called Jaeger this guy's called Jaeger you know and Stanley Tushi sorry Stanley, I know I, keep, I say it like, it sounds like Steve, but I mean, it's like Stanley, it's Tushi, you know, Casely, Raymar, and Mark Wahlberg were the best things in the whole film. There were no Transformers in the film, so I can't even really say Transformers. I mean, Transformers were sort of in it, but they were rubbish. They weren't that good, so they were hardly in it. The story wasn't even that good. I mean, I don't gonna, I wouldn't, would I advise you go watch this film? No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't wish my worst enemy to go watch this film. Well, maybe I would. I wouldn't recommend you watch this film, but if you want to, go check it out. See what everyone's talking about. But the film is propaganda. You watch advertisements, the trailers, the music videos, the posters, it all looks exciting. Then you go watch the film, and it is very exciting, and you're like, yeah, wow, this is amazing, I can't believe World Transformers. By the end of it, you didn't learn or experience anything except flashing, light, flashing lights, loud noises, and that is absolutely it. Transformers Age of Extinction, I'll give that film a 6 out of 10. And I'll give that a 6 out of 10. I'll give it 4 out of 10 for Mark Wahlberg. 1 point for the budget. Must have been huge. Another one for the music and that's about it six out of ten if it wasn't for Mark Wahlberg the film would be a two out of ten for me so that's my talk about Transformers Age of Extinction the music was actually good in the film actually but what do you expect from a film that was comprised of basically 
music videos and pieces for musical moments. They need to just dead to Transformers as it is, start afresh. The best in the whole film was Steve Tucci and Mark Wahlberg and Casey Graymar. What did you expect in a shitty film with three amazing actors? Oh, I'm lost for words. I'm absolutely lost for words, but that's my review or my discussion or talk about it. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Okay, people, take care, have fun, and I hope you stick around for my next video. Take care, people. Eons ago, I was ordained with the powers cosmic, the invincible invader. No one can stop it. I'm putting your planet on curfew. Extra to rest when you write on my rhymes in the form of crop circles.